As we are going into the new year, Dignity Health is here to give us some insight to new options in fighting cancer. And Dr. Wong is here with us. Good morning, Dr. Happy How new are year. you? Happy Great. New Year to you, too. Yeah. Um, let's talk first what type of doctor you are, and then mm -hmm. we're going to talk about the different treatments that are going on. So you are? Yeah, I'm a medical oncologist specialized treating prostate cancer and uh, uh, take care of a lot of elderly patients. Yeah. I enjoy taking care of geriatric patients. And so, and I mean, a lot of people have this question is, you know, we are trying to fight this cancer, and, and why is it so difficult at times to find the cure for, for cancer in general? That's a great question. So the, there's many factors may contribute to this complexity and the challenge of cancer care, cancer treatment. Uh, one of the uh, lessons research taught us is uh, well, the traditional approach of a shotgun approach to treat uh, cancer as a moving target is probably not a ideal approach. Uh, so let me explain why. So cancer is a disease as uh, abnormal, uh, persistent, uh, uncontrolled growth. So the normal cells turn to cancer cells through genomic mutation. Uh, today, everybody heard a lot about the mutation already. And, uh, but the cancer is the master of a mutation. So they accumulate uh, and uh, uh, generate a lot of mutation during the course of a disease. This mutation enables them to, uh, to become invisible uh, through the uh, in face of the immune system and become immortal. They turn off the biological clock so they never, uh, so they don't have to die. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they can survive with the cancer therapy. Wow. So they can invade, they can cause pain, uh, blood clots, infection. Uh, so they could metastasize a distant site. Right. So the conventional therapy is not uh, adequate to deal with this complex situation because they cannot tell uh, who is the good guy, who is the bad guy. Right. So if they misfire, they can hit the good guy so they can cause side effect. So we need a more complex, more sophisticated approach to deal with this situation. This uh, situation, uh, the precision medicine emerged as the uh, options uh, pro provide a lot of uh, promise and uh, hope for cancer patients. Yeah, and, and what's interesting, and we were talking about this beforehand, is that everybody's different uh, when it comes to treating cancer, and that's where at Dignity Health you guys sit down with them, you, you talk with them, and you give them the option. There's traditional and there's precision, precisional medicine that can help with cancer, and, and that's something that you guys really work with the patients on. Exactly. Yeah, the difference of uh, conventional therapy and uh, precision medicine is, uh, is falling. So uh, conventional therapy kind of emphasizes the commonality of the cancer. So the, the cancer therapy kind of uh, made for average population. So already have a standard care exist, kind of like a cookbook medicine. So this cookbook is not a free to choose. You go to a restaurant. Is uh, you, you have a uh, you, you have to choose a number, first choice, second choice. They call first line therapy, second line therapy. But uh, for every individual, different patient, they may have a different response to treatment. So yeah. therefore, individualized the options are very important. Yeah, yeah. We, we have two uh, little photos here of, of people here on the screen. We're gonna pop up right now. Um, these are very interesting. Let's talk about the, the first one right here. Um, again, it is about different people, different treatments, and, and seeing that smiling face right exactly. there means that yeah. he has, he's been through and you guys have taken care of it. So the, the cancer therapy come a long way. You, it's very, always very satisfied to see the successful story uh, of the cancer patient. So in the patient have a multiple comorbidities, a very hard treat cancer, even traditionally considers incurable cancer. Now with individualized therapy, if we find what make a cancer is cancer, what made the cancer more aggressive, what make cancer become a resistant previous therapy, doctor can match the uh, target therapy to have a cancer controlled uh, in, in this uh, very difficult setting. So yeah. patient can live a very, very good quality life. You can see this gentleman yeah. enjoy uh, uh, life and everything life. and, and yeah, going yes, through. Yeah, with um, I know we're life. about to wrap up here, but I do want to ask mm -hmm. you, just because we talked about this, why are we seeing an increase in, of course, prostate cancer with men? And, and you said because yeah. People are living longer. Exactly. So cancer is a disease of aging. Prostate cancer is a disease of elderly. So if we live to 100 years old, everybody will pretty much have a risk of developing cancer because of our long longevity. Second reason uh, increased incidence of cancer is that we are doing better screening. So we, we can find more cancers. Uh, so that's, that's another contributing factors. Yeah.
Yeah. Doctor, thanks for joining us this morning and going into the new year and letting us know that there are alternatives to, to fight this battle of cancer, so especially through Dignity Health. So Thank you uh, so much. The, our community is working with the community uh, to uh, reduce the cancer burden. So our yeah. that's our mission and our commitment. I like it. Well, thank you. We're looking thank forward to doing more with you. And of course, you want more information about Dignity Health and this fight against cancer, you can go to our website, aztv.com, to find out more information. And of course, we have information on the screen right there if you want to get a hold of Dignity Health directly. So, um, all right, we got more mix coming up right after this.